Hello everybody, uh, today we've got the uh, push-ups model, or push-up model I should say. And this is a wooden automator with all the parts that you need ready to just sort of pop out, push together, slot together and make. And so we're going to unbox it like that and see what's inside. So inside we have all the parts and the instructions and it's just a case of um, slip the plastic like that we have part sheet ready to pop out and then the illustrated instruction sheet that's got the step by step how to make it and that's what we're going to do so I'm just going to uh, pop the pieces out and let's get started right then I've got all the parts popped out of the sprues and ready to go I've got the instruction sheet in front of me all nicely illustrated very clear easy to follow so let's get started let's build this thing these three stuck together like that. Okay, so that's going to go through all three crosses. One, two, three. And then that one goes on the other side. That gear's going to go on there, and then that piece there will fit in the uh, side wall like that to make a bearing. That's going to go through there, and then that small gear goes on there, and then this location piece. in there. Okay so we've now got a handle ready to go. Uh, okay so now we've got these two bits ready. So this piece is the bit that houses the motor should you choose to put one in. I probably won't but let's pop it in anyway. It's probably easy to put it in before rather than after. And the other two ends go here, on there, on there. I don't think there's a particular way up they have to go. Looks like they're symmetrical. Crank handle here just as a sort of finishing off thing. We've got this piece here and a washer and that's going to slot together and make that rather neat little handle. And it's easy enough to see which way up it goes because um, it's coloured on one side and not the other so that's the top. This part here is where the uh, legs are going to fit in I reckon and then these little holes at the front are where the hands are going to fit in. So I'm going to start off with the long, the leg with the long piece on it and that's going to go in there a little bit of jiggling around because it's just a, just tight around that corner. Yeah. That's going to go there. And then that whole thing should fit on the top. This lever is going to go into this slot here. That. It's going to fit nicely in there and then it's just a case of making sure all the little bits are lined up and popping the lid down. And 
might have to sort of jiggle it round just to make sure that the teeth are lined up there on the uh, gears for them to mesh properly. Right, there's the that's the sort of actually basic principle. It's going to do that. Okay, good. So the body itself is made of five layers. So there's that and that and then there are five more three more layers so interestingly i think i've made this sort of um the one in the instructions got the handle on the other side and everything's like 180 degrees round or mirror image round but i don't think it matters so i shall press on Peg goes in there, and then these are going to fit and just pop that hole, pop that foot in that hole there, and the foot's going to go in that on that peg. There's a hole in the foot there and that's going to go on that peg there and then that's body part is in the line up there and then we have so it should so we can do sort of miraculous floating press ups as is and this is going to be the uh, hinge piece for the arms so that's going to go in there like that First one goes there, then one of these cover, uh, middle pieces like that, and then a little tiny peg there, and then one of these loops like that, and then that on the top. So now that's our joint there, and we've got this sort of interesting um, semi-geared joint which allows it to bend a lot more than a normal hinge would. And that pegging halfway through. And then the other end of it, one end of it goes there. This one loops onto that on my sort of double loop infinity sign thing. And then the other arm section clips on the top. There we go. And then that is going to pop in through this hand. Make sure you've got your sort of thumb on the inside. Through the hand and onto that peg there. And there we have it. And then I'll just do the same thing on the other side. Then one of these little tiny pegs. Can't believe you managed to cut pegs that small on a CNC machine, and they work really well. And then that loop goes on there. And then that cover goes on this side. And then we have the same with these ones. So this, the bottom out of the forearm is, is longer because it has to fit underneath the box a little bit. So I'll drop that. That goes there. That goes there. There's a peg goes in there, like that. and then that pops into that hill. Make sure my gears are lined up correctly. Okay, so thumb on the inside. Into 
into that. Same on this one. This one's fallen out as I've been moving it around. From on the inside into there. And there we have it. And I reckon that is it. <laughs> okay. You can just sit and do this all day long and that's your exercises for the day.